Welcome guys to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. I'm Brian. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and drop a comment below. Today's video is the top 10 Marvel Legends underrated figures. These might be figures that you pass by, might be peg warmer, might be on clearance and you just haven't, you just haven't picked them up for whatever reason. Now to find out this top 10, usually I just, I just go with my own opinion, but I wanted to find out what the... The idea is out there, so I went to my two most frequent Facebook groups, Marvel Legends Community and Marvel Legends Community UK, where I did a poll on both these, on both those groups and compiled the results and coupled with my own opinion, have come up with a top 10 underrated Marvel Legends figures. So without further ado, let's go. Here is number 10. And at number 10 is the White Rabbit. Lorena Dodson, she came out in the Demo Goblin Wave last year in 2020 and you will often find her now still on websites in the clearance area and in stores too. Obviously, lots of us can't go in stores at the moment, but she is a great figure. She arrived in at number 10 on the poll. And coming in at number 9 is the Marvel Legends Rock Python. Again, another one that can still be got pretty cheaply if you have a look around and find him. He came out in the 2019 Hulk build a figure wave from Marvel Le or Mar or Marvel's Avengers Endgame. And he's a great villain. He is part of the Serpent Society. So grabbing him, you can complete that team, which includes Constrictor and King Cobra and others. So yeah, grab him guys, Rock Python, number nine, underrated. And coming in at number eight is Marvel's Thundra, a figure back from 2015 in the Hulkbuster wave. Thundra is a great character. She's been affiliated with the Fantastic Four and has often fought against the Hulk. She's a great female character, quite big, kind of the same mold as Red She-Hulk and She-Hulk as well back then. And definitely a cool character. Might be a little bit difficult to find now though. So if you're looking for her, keep an eye out. And at number seven, it is a figure that I've recently picked up myself on clearance. It is the Age of Apocalypse, Jean Grey. And yeah, so Jean is a great character and she's fantastic in Age of, the Age of Apocalypse storyline as well, back in 1995. She came out in the Age of Apocalypse wave along with Sugarman. And yeah, Jean is a great character to catch up on. Uh, if you're going to be buying that wave, you can get them all pretty cheaply now. So yeah, check her out at number seven. And at number six is from the recent Marvel Legends Stiltman Build-A-Figure wave. It is, of course, Frogman. A character I know next to nothing about, but I have been pulled in by the hype of Frogman. He looks absolutely great. He is on the old Dr. Apocalypse, or Dr. Octopus body and such an interesting character. Sometimes when you get figures like this, that you know nothing about. When you buy the figure, it'll make you go back and read about them. So that's my next task, is to find out what the greatness behind Frogman. And he is our number six. And at number five, he comes in the 2019 Kingpin Build-A-Figure wave. He is the man, he is the monster, he is Puma, or Puma, whichever way you want to say it. Puma is a Spider-Man villain, Probably a bit Z-list, but at the same time, he looks absolutely great. He is well worth a pick up if you want to fill out your villain's range for Spider-Man. And he, I think he also goes with Daredevil too. But uh, Puma is a great, great figure in my opinion. I have him and I really like him. Number five, Puma. And at number four is the Superior Octopus, which came out in the Demo Goblin wave. Much like our number 10, White Rabbit. Superior Octopus is the next incarnation of Doc Ock as the Superior Spider-Man and the figure itself looks fantastic. I haven't got it myself, but I have been meaning to pick it up. Again, it's another one that you can find pretty cheap nowadays as well. If you have a good look around, you'll find it pretty handy. It's not going to go out of stock anytime soon and that's why it's so under that's because it's so underrated. Number number 4, Superior Octopus. And number 3, this one for me, it um it surprised me a lot because I would have thought... Now, number three is Omega Red from 2018's Sauron Build-A-Figure Wave. 
as I said, that this one surprised me because he's I would have thought he was a pretty uh popular character. He did he was we were waiting a long time for an upgrade on his Toy Biz figure. I have mine, I really, really love it. I love the character. He's a really popular Wolverine villain and X-Men villain as well. And yeah, so number three is Omega Red. And number two, it is the only figure from the Fox, recent Fox releases of their movie figures. And most of you guys probably have this figure by default. She came with Deadpool and she is Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I myself felt guilty of this. I just bought a loose Deadpool. I haven't got her, but now I want to check her out. Negasonic Teenage Warhead, of course, been in both Deadpool movies. And she did come in the two-pack with Wade Wilson himself. So guys, you probably, most of you probably have them. I have seen her on sale so many times. But she is number two in my, our most underrated figures. And at number one, it is the Marvel Legends Hercules. Now this guy polled the highest in Marvel Legends community by a long shot getting well over 20 votes. And the Greek God looks absolutely fantastic. He was one of my favorite figures of 2019. He came in the Thanos build a figure wave. And this guy is absolutely outstanding. I don't know if he should be really underrated, but maybe because he's not such a mainline character, a lot of people have passed on him. So that would explain that. There is a lot of people who just collect because of the movies and stuff. And that would would explain a lot of people not have, having heard of this Avenger, the Greek Thor, you might say. But uh, hopefully this guy will be showing up in the movies pretty soon, maybe. I don't know. But this figure is outstanding. I'm so happy I have him. And he is a massive, massive upgrade on the Toy Biz version of Hercules, which I also had for a long time. Anyway, guys, that has been my top 10 underrated figures. Let me know in the comments what you think and add your own as well. And let me know what other type of lists like these you would like to see because I really want to use the community and not, that's a bad way of saying it. I want to get involved with the community and have them come on here and chat as well about other things including Marvel Legends. So guys, thanks very much for watching. Hit Come back soon for more. I always have reviews and stuff on the channel every day. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon. Hit that subscribe and bye.